Meteorologist Joe Hansel here with a update on your Monday. Look at your national forecast and hopefully you had a happy Father's Day. Claudette is still just clinging on eastern North Carolina as I am speaking and recording this forecast this morning. The 5 a.m. Eastern Time update from our friends at the National Hurricane Center. It is going to race into the Atlantic very soon, but it's located here, somewhere in between Raleigh and Cape Hatteras. As a tropical storm, it did intensify over land during the overnight hours. That happens with these things once in a while, but it's going to be short-lived. East-northeast wind or east-northeast movement at 25 miles per hour. Max sustained winds at 40 does make it a tropical storm. And soon it will race into the open Atlantic, getting kicked out by a cold front. Now on Sunday, we had about a handful of record highs. That was it. But El Paso was at 109, Medicine Lodge at 106. It is uh, refreshing to see the amount of record highs dramatically fall, finally. So we're this uh, very expensive heat wave is starting to break apart at the seams. Now we still have some heat regardless. 91 in Houston today, 109 in Phoenix. Portland, Oregon, 94, and I'm aware not a, there's a good amount of folks that don't have air conditioning up in the Pacific Northwest. You got heat advisories and excessive heat warnings in portions out there. Southern Texas and out east, we have some heat advisory issues too today. Elevated to critical wildfire threats with red flag warnings and fire weather watches out west. And we're watching for areas of potentially heavy rain, not with the tropical storm this time, but now with a cold front that's actually kicking out Claudette. Another two to four inches of rain tonight through the course of our Tuesday over already saturated area areas. And we've had a number of accidents and deaths because of flooding and flash flooding with Claudette. Be mindful. Always remember to turn around. Don't drown. Slight risk of severe weather out east. Large hail damaging winds and tornadic activity. All possible if you're in that yellow shaded area through this afternoon. Margin risk extends down south in Texas. Areas of Oregon might have some damaging winds with your thunderstorms later this afternoon.